Welcome to the Nagwal Zone, my name is Anam. This video is for all you women out there who are interested in the Toltec path, the genuine Toltec path. And I would like to read you a question posed by a user called Tunga Vidya Dasi. She says, uh, and the video was male and female Toltec training. The link is coming up. She says, hello, Nama, I really appreciate your videos. It's a long comment, so I'll abbreviate it. Now, she makes a very important observation straight away. Watch this. I have been looking for videos about women power, but I only find videos of women showing themselves as powerful, although their idea of powerful is how to attract men. Right there, take note of that. It's far more common, insidious, and subconscious in you women than when you would like to admit, right? Just learn to be exploited in this male-established world or being powerful means to be more or as powerful as men. So basically forced to compete with men. She goes on to say, we are taught to see everything in a male view and our feminine energy gets fully blocked. Absolutely. There should be a stronger word than blocked. <laughs> That's what actually happens. How can we protect our feminine energy and make it flourish in such a society? Absolutely. Sometimes I feel the only way would be to live alone in a mountain or a secluded place. But again, in this male society would not even be safe or allowed and so on. So thank you, Tunga Vidya Dasi, excellent name, for this comment. This allows me to talk about this topic because content for women told text is scarce. Scarce. First off, I'd like you to do some recommended reading. First off, read Florinda Donna Grau. She was a cohort of Carlos Castaneda. She wrote a book I believe it was called The Sorcerer's Crossing. I may be misrecalling it, but find out Florinda Donna Grau's book. Read it. Read it all the way through. Then another of Carlos Castaneda's cohorts, Taisha Abiyar. Her book, Shabono, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe she wrote two. Just find books by these authors and read them. This will give you a a perspective from Carlos Castaneda's cohorts and their point of view. Okay, so that is a point of view of the Toltec part. Now I'll present to you my training and how I see all this, what I have observed. And now again, I'm not a woman, so I cannot even pretend to know the pressures and the stresses which are yours to bear in these in this life and in this world. I'll do my best though to give you a picture of how to approach gaining personal power in a world that does everything to strip you of it. Okay, first thing, and this goes against the very nature of this video, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. First thing, and I'll tell you this, You've got to etch this in your heart, etch, like put this, write this on your soul, put, put this in your mind as deeply as possible. And this is the, this is the thought I'd like you to move towards. Stop listening to men as if they know better. I'll say that again. Stop listening to men as if they know better. That's why I said it goes against the very nature of this video. <laughs> so please listen to me, but always with a critical faculty. But I'll try and give you a picture of what it is like from a Toltec's point of view for women warriors. First of all, women warriors absolutely do not, do not, cannot, could not, should not, Listen to men as if they know better. Now, doesn't, that doesn't mean stop listening to men, obviously. 
but that absolutely means stop listening to men as if they know better. You go to the doctor who's a man, you go to the engineer who's a man, you go to the architect, you want to get your house made, whatever, stop listening to them as if they know better. They do not know better. The world in which you live in is designed to give the impression that the white man knows best. And all other men absolutely know better than women. This is the world you are born into. This is the average man's horrific, nightmarish reality. There are causes to this reality. That is a whole different video. You must learn to stop listening to men as if they know better. Now here's what happens when a woman stops listening to men as if they know better. You know why it's so scary? Because you get left alone. You are now suddenly alone in a world which is terrifying. All my women apprentices, they take martial art lessons. So, and that's not to copy Carlos Castaneda because I don't copy anyone, but it makes sense. There's a certain, I want to remind you of the mood of the warrior. Go ahead and Google it if you feel like, but the crow talked about the mood of the warrior to Castaneda. What is the mood of a warrior? And the study, now martial arts is just 99% bullshit. What you want to do is learn self-defense, how to defend yourself. It's a completely different approach than all this martial arts nonsense. However, I start off my women apprentices, they go and start training in Gracie Jiu Jitsu, specifically, because there are advantages to Gracie Jiu Jitsu which are not present in uh, any other martial art form. If they stick with it, I get them to have a black belt in that, which is a man that is a feat. That's like you've, you know, you've really done something in your life. If you can get a black belt in Gracie Jiu Jitsu. But by that time, you will, you, will, you will feel very different than you do now. You have acquired a little bit, a little bit of the mood of the warrior. Yeah. And from that mood of the warrior, it empowers you to really assess and be able to withstand a world where you don't listen to men as if they know better and you certainly don't behave with men as if they know better. Now, women behave with men as if they know better in two ways. One is the straight up way they're submissive and yes sir, yes sir, massa, yes sir, massa, you know best, yes, yes, yes. That's one way. The other way is to start competing with them. I'm going to join the army, I'm going to do the same number of push-ups and uh, all the physical, uh, women are just as powerful as men. Okay, okay, yeah, we get it. That's, but a, a Toltec warrior woman doesn't have the time for that kind of competition. It's such a waste. What are you trying to prove? It's such a waste of energy and time. Rather... Put that energy and time in yourself and develop yourself. Develop your personal power. You will not get that by competing with men, right? So the whole idea remains the same. Whether you're a man or a woman, consensus reality is not for the Toltec warrior. The entire shenanigans of the consensus reality you must learn to step out of, right? You have to step out of the whole thing. You have to get away from the whole game, which means you start with stop behaving and listening to men as if they know better. It really does start from there. Now, what is left? If all the man stuff is gone from your life, what is left? You know what? You'll be forced to rely on yourself. 
Now again, you won't be forced to rely on yourself competing in a man's world, surviving. It's a man's world. No, you'll be forced to rely on your inner wisdom. You will start gaining true personal power. You know the problem with that? Why women don't do that? Because men get very offended, very, very terrified and aggressive. They will start trying to dominate you, control you, box you in, put boundaries around you. And all of that is subconscious to the level of genetic. It's, it's that deep. It's like I've seen perfectly good men who are perf I, the ideal husband and the ideal boyfriend and the ideal this and the ideal that. I've seen it with my eyes over the years. Soon as woman starts getting out of line in that in what the man is comfortable with and woman starts to gain personal power i see this in my apprenticeships a lot the women start changing and gaining personal power and lo and behold utterly predictably they start getting pressure and aggressiveness back from their spouses or boyfriends or whoever they happen to be with at that time Oh, how surprising. It's surprising to the women. It's certainly not surprising to me because <laughs> that's what happens. All you men who you, th all of you walk around thinking you're big shots. You really do. You really do. And don't try and tell me otherwise because it's, you just talking to air. <laughs> you, oh, every single one of you, you, there's something genetically that puts a fire up your asses when a woman around you becomes you get really you get really threatened you know why because you don't have any real personal power yet the only people this is a guarantee and i don't care how how you think your boyfriend or your husband is the is the most amazing guy oh no he's too nice he would definitely wouldn't uh, mind if i became powerful and blah 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 mm, yeah really mm, you think you know them huh? yeah try to empower yourself let's see what happens the only people you know the only people who don't get threatened by women Gaining genuine personal power? Guess who? Men warriors. Toltec men warriors. Because we're used to women. We, we actually look. We go hunting for those kind of women. We, we want to surround. Those are the women that are for us. You see like attracts like. Toltec men have uh, personally I have no time for the, for women who belong to the average reality consensus reality I don't have the time energy to invest in anything you know so the best I can do is offer apprenticeships to women who belong to the consensus reality but know that there is something more for them and they come and they basically learn to empower themselves the Toltec way right it's a very different way to train women than it is to train men, necessarily. However, the goal remains the same for women. They must stop listening to and behaving as if men know better. That will force you to trust your womb. You've been, nature has given you reproductive organs which are not just to pop babies out. <laughs> That's the, like the most crude use of what you've been given the power you've been given in hindi we have a word called shakti shakti is can be a name for a man or a name for a woman shakti means divine feminine power spiritual feminine power and uh, the toltecs as well as hindu mythology the toltecs we believe that existence is female in nature existence is female in nature a lot of brainwashing has happened to you that you're not aware of all these new age women talking about the moon the moon and the moon and 
neon moon and dark moon and high moon and bright moon and uh, lunar goddess and luna luna you know luna means loony the moon uh, you know the moon is male the moon is an inert weapon a whole different video altogether it's the sun that's female the sun is a female entity if you were ever to classify these beings in terms of the petty mind of man as male and female then i can assure you that the sun would be classified as female just like the earth <laughs> so to me it's a, it's an ongoing hilarious when i see toltec women dancing with the drums and uh, the moon the moon we worship the moon and i'm like oh yeah you have no idea what you're doing do you there's a lot of these so-called shamanic women <laughs> the moon the moon i mean i don't know if you if you are interested if that is if that is your inclination right acquire a book titled who built the moon who built the moon that'll open your eyes a little bit written by two authors very well researched if you're a bit of a sign in of a scientific bent of mind absolutely read that book that'll so that'll get you to ask questions about what you think the moon is <laughs> so stop defining yourself with male imposed archetypes images images is a big one you know what when i first came to the western world i came from the middle east i worked there for a while and then i came to the western world you know the first thing that struck me the first thing that struck me was how much like men the western women walked the western women carried themselves their body language is exactly like men whereas in the eastern world the women physically their movements they walk they they move differently it's more um, circular and uh, much more graceful no doubt about it i was surprised i was like wow they, there's no difference between seeing a man walk and seeing a woman walk women walk with their shoulders as if their center of gravity is in their shoulders but if you study a little bit of martial arts especially self defense the science of leverages you will see that women's center of gravity is in their hips you can't be walking with your shoulders men's center of gravity is in their shoulders so you see men have a different gait like gorillas men walk, you know gorillas women should be walking their hips should be creating that movement that propels them forward when they walk Western women have no idea what I'm saying right now. You all nod, say yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have no idea. The best way to learn what that means, I'll tell you the best way to do that. If you like dancing, take belly dancing lessons. Belly dancing, not pole dancing, nothing. Belly dancing lessons. Or if you really want to really invest, you know, in yourself. then spend the next 10 years learning uh, Bha- bhartiya shastriya nritya which in english would be indian classical dance things like bharatnatyam that will get you to understand your body from a woman's perspective it and it just that alone will empower you no end so first stop listening and behaving as if men know better that forces you to rely on your own wisdom and that wisdom lies in your womb and also forces you to give up indulging in cowardice and competition and start extricating yourself away from this consensus reality that is toxic for you I I've lost count of how many times I've witnessed oh uh, you know a woman friend oh I met a guy you know and we're going out and okay great well done very good very good oh and then 2 3 months later you meet them and you go 
Oh, what happened? You started smoking. I didn't know you were smoking. Oh, yeah, my boyfriend smokes, so, you know, I thought I'd start smoking. What? But that makes no sense. Here's another example. Oh, yeah, we've been dating steadily for two years. He's in America and uh, I'm in the UK. Uh, I'm thinking of moving to America. Oh, well, why can't he move here? Oh, because he's got his job there and, um, you know, yeah, he's, he's got his whole, you know, it's, he, he can't move from there. Why? Oh, you know, because he's got his job there. You know how it goes. And I'm going, yeah, I know exactly how it goes. You listening and behaving as if men know better and you fitting yourself. Why can't you just stay your ground and say no? No, 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 no. I got my own life, mate. I've got my own life. I am prosperous as hell. I've got my own money flow. Keep your damn money to yourself. Keep your damn job to yourself. I don't need you and your job to be sustaining me. Right? And the third thing with women is too many of you do the cop out. You know what I call the cop out? Instead of developing your creativity, which takes discipline, stamina, all sorts of amazing things forces you to develop all this, what do you do? You start having babies. You, as if that will fulfill your creative side, as if that will give you a path with heart. Toltec warrior women are very, very, very different. They just don't think like that. Their main priority is freedom. Freedom which comes from enhancing their awareness, enhancing their inner spaciousness, their inner silence to a point where they have lost their human form and things open up for, for them from there. Consensus reality, you're going to have to say bye-bye to it if you want to know what it looks like from the Toltec side. And for Toltec women, salute to you because you've, you have resist, you have gone against a far stronger current than a Toltec warrior male. So for me, the highest respect, the highest respect. I have no idea what I would do as a woman, you know, living in a, uh, this horrible consensus reality. Terrible, nightmarish, extremely toxic, all invented 99% by the white man. And there's a section of the white man, the Western European section, and within that Western European, there's a certain section of the white man, which is, let's call it their, their genetic, their, that gene pool is inserted into the human population as a weapon. It's a weaponized gene pool. And these people are responsible over all these generations for the world as it is today. It's a whole different topic completely. And you can Talk about it till the cows come home. Nothing will ever change or nothing, you know, it's just dinner table talk. But for you warrior women, I salute you. And for those who are looking to empower themselves, Women Who Run With The Wolves, read that one, by Nicola Estes, I think the author is. You must read The Power Of Now by Eckhart Tolle, right? I'm sure there are other books that you can read to empower yourself. Now, this, is, uh, th this has nothing to do with feminism. I'm talking about giving up consensus reality altogether. It takes a lot more guts and a lot more um, savviness than you'd realize. It's easy to be a feminist because all you're doing is switching sides, really. <laughs> this is not about switching sides. This is coming out of the freaking stadium where the game is going on just walk away from the venue itself <laughs> that's what we're talking about there's a lot more to this i can't just obviously lay down everything in a video on youtube but that's where it starts remember this I, i'm repeating it again and again throughout the video 
you must stop listening and behaving as if men know better and learn to rely on your womb wisdom. Most of you have no idea what that means. And go on that journey. Go on that journey. What the hell does womb wisdom really mean? What does it mean? What, what is it? What is an army even talking about? There's a lot of material out there on womb wisdom. I don't know. It's not my area of interest, obviously. But as if I know consensus reality, most of it will be bullshit written by bullshit women who in their personal lives, if you look at them, they're disempowered. And, but they, or they can write books like, you know, <laughs> superstars. But then there's the 5% who are the real deal. Those are the women you want to learn from. I hope this video helps all you beautiful women, lovely uh, souls, lovely spirits out there incarnated in women's bodies with such powerful gifts within you. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, absolutely put them in the comments. I have the highest regard for women who uh, are even thinking about the Toltec way. Keep moving towards more and more personal empowerment. Personal empowerment and personal power are two different things as far as the Toltec is concerned. But as, even, if you're person, if you, even if you're empowering yourself, evolving, you are on the right track. With that, walk in freedom and blessings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.